Hey friend, guess what? Today is my first day of working from home and it is spectacular. The amount of peace I have already working from home on day one is amazing in itself. So freaking excited. Any hoozy. Went to a good old uh, McDonald's to try out this bacon uh, deluxe McCrispy, I believe is what it's called. So let's get ourselves a thumbnail and we're going to dig in. I know this has been out for like three weeks or so, but I haven't ate out for lunch during the week in over two weeks. So this is going to be very messy. So we're going to have to bear with each other. And I got a small fry, but let's get a thumbnail. All right, that's to do it. So we're gonna mm, hopefully not wear this sandwich. It's very messy. Cause you know, once you combine everything, everything gets sloppy, but we're gonna make it do what it does. Get you a close up. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, ranch, chicken. So let's dig in. Have you tried this? I'm quite sure a lot of you have since I'm very late. Sorry for being late to the game. Mm. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat, I do not care for that bacon. So we're going to exclude the bacon. Okay. Mm -mm. We're going to go ahead and dispose of that into the bag over her. And we're going to put my sandwich back together. I don't like that bacon. No, thank you. So now, this is what we have. And I'm okay with it. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Mm. Uh-oh. See a little messy, yeah? I am. I'm just doing so great, y'all. I only work home two days a week, Tuesday, Friday, but I feel like that's going to help my mentality or like my mental, my vibe is going to help a lot. She messy. That ranch is like peppercorny. It's not bad. Let me get these fries up here. So how y'all been doing? Um, I'm doing my napkin. There it is. So, so go with my questions that I haven't answered for a while. Mr. Hugh asked me if I ever experienced any paranormal stuff. And... His question could not have come at a better time because let me tell you what happened at the barbecue on Saturday while we were all together at my mom's house. Mm. It's not a bad sandwich at all. I just can't jive with the bacon. Nope. It is not, I'm not a fan of, I gave it a try, you know, I gave it a whirl. Not the biggest fan of fast food bacon. <laughs> so messy. So, this weekend, Y'all know we had a cookout and a barbecue for some folks' birthday. The barbecue was amazing. The weather was great. My macaroni salad was a hit. People brought it home for leftovers on Sunday and were pissed off that it was gone. So <clears throat> that makes me feel good when I'm cooking and people love what I bake. But so after we all finished eating, so let me say. My family has lived in this house for six years, I believe. And this is where my grandmother lived, who just passed away in February. So 
So we just finished eating. Everybody was inside the house. All of a sudden, a fire alarm goes off. The way their house is set up, you have their master bedroom on one side, my mom, my mom and her husband, stepmom, husband, whatever. Then the kitchen, then the living room. And then on the other end, there's two bedrooms and a bathroom. And then one of those bedrooms is where my grandma used to sleep. That's where the fire alarm was. Right there by her room. We wasn't cooking like we grilled out. We were already done eating. Nobody was cooking at the moment, so it wasn't in the oven. And it was by her bedroom, like right outside her bedroom. I am. They said that alarm ain't never gone off. They said the one by the kitchen did, but not by her bedroom. There was no reason. There was no candles. There was nothing going on. There was no reason for that fire alarm to go off. And everyone who gathered on that Saturday is pretty much who she spent the vast majority of her time with down here. So I looked at everybody, I was like, that was grandma. 100%, it was by her room. There was zero reason for it to go off. It has never gone off since y'all been here in the past six years. That was definitely her. Like, I just felt like, I just think that stuff's amazing. <clears throat> when you know it's one of your past loved ones. I, I just love that. So, she definitely made her presence known. That she was ticked off that she wasn't there. So she let us know she was there. So that's the most recent paranormal activity I experienced. Back in my early 20s, <clears throat> um, my mother and my sister and my stepfather lived in this house where I grew up when I was in elementary school. And I, excuse me. And I went over there. I don't know if it was for Halloween or we were just hanging out. But I went over there to hang out. My stepdad was not home. It was just me, my mom, my sister. And it was a little ranch house. And the way it was set up, <clears throat> they had one of those sectional couches. One end was by the door and the window. And it went around up against the wall. And the other end looked down the hallway to where the bedrooms and the bathrooms were. I was, so I was sitting on that end, the very end. All of a sudden, I looked down that hallway from the bathroom across the hallway to where my sister's bedroom was. An older lady with a long white gown, nightgown, crossed over plain as day. I see, like, she was using the bathroom, she was finished, and she was walking to the bedroom to go to bed. Plain as day, 100%, that's what I seen. I don't remember if it was that night or the next day I told my mom. She was like, oh, yeah, I see them all the time. I'm like, I never even seen her, and I've been in that house and around the house since, I think I was there since kindergarten. And I was, this was in, I was early 20s. So... That was crazy.
another time in that house that I know for sure was on Halloween because it was so late I didn't want to go home so I just stayed the night at the house. We did what we did, trick or treating, whatever. <clears throat> and I was going to bed. This was one of my old bedrooms at some point. Um, and then this bedroom was pretty much like a storage room for them. So let me paint you a picture of this night. In this room was a single bed. Like literally only one person could fit in this bed. It used to be a bunk bed and we broke it down. Or they broke it down. So I had one bed in this room. It was a storage room. So... Pretty much the only in like path from the door to the bed, what that's the only path you had. Door to bed, that's it. On this side was full of their stuff. On this side was full of stuff in the closet. Like it was full. So I go in there and lay down. Dead asleep. They were still up. So I had shut the door and it was maybe cracked like that much. <clears throat> now this one scared the crap out of me and this is the only time I've ever experienced anything like this laying down sleeping my doors cracked and I could tell they were out there because the light was on the door wasn't open and like I said the foot of the bed was full of boxes and totes and you know whatever else they had in there so nobody could have got at the foot of the bed or the head of the bed or anywhere else around me if they were coming in they were getting in bed with me pretty much so sleeping all of a sudden That's a pretty short bed. Like, I'm 5'5", five five, so my feet were at the end of the bed. All of a sudden, I feel somebody take their hand and put it all the way around my ankle. Literally grab my ankle. I felt the force of their hand on my ankle. Boy, I cut it up into a ball so quick. And I looked around... Like, right after it happened, because it woke me up. The door was still closed. So, nobody came in. I didn't hear nothing. So, nobody was wrestling around. And like I said, you had all that stuff at the foot of the bed. So, wasn't nobody in there. And I stayed up for a good probably 10 minutes trying to see if maybe somebody had come in and was playing around. Mm-mm. Nobody came in or out of that bedroom. Somebody literally grabbed my ankle while I was sleeping. I never experienced something just touch me out of nowhere. And I believe it was just, again, my sister and my mom that was there. Crazy as hell. So that was in that house. And then in other houses, <clears throat> like we lived in an apartment. We'd be all sitting in the living room all of a sudden. We had shelves with like candles and stuff on it. The shit would just be knocked off the cat, the, the shelves. Randomly knocked off. In my house that I grew up in when I was in high school, it was like a Cape Cod, so it was two floors and I'd be sitting in the living room all of a sudden the kitchen was right in front of the living room 
the water would just turn on. From the living room, you could see the bathroom. All of a sudden, the light in the bathroom would just cut on. We're all sitting in the living room. My dad said after I moved out, and it was just him in the house, he heard footsteps upstairs, and it was just him. So I don't know what was going on in that house. Like literally, water would turn on, lights, faucets, showers. It was crazy. Um, and then when Steven's mom and dad passed away, I actually heard them. So Steven's mom passed away a year ago, January. And she always had this noise she used to make when she was like aggravated or whatever. It was like a loud huff puff sigh type thing. My alarm went off when, when my alarm went off one morning to get up. I walked past our bedroom door to go to the bathroom. I heard her make that noise. Plain as day, 100% her scared the crap out of me. And then his dad's death is coming up on a year in May. <clears throat> And he always had this very distinct way of saying, hey. It was like, hey. So same situation. My alarm went off. I went to the bathroom, passed the door. I hear him say that. I guess just stuff when you know for sure that that's that loved one coming to see you. Now, the creepiness with both the houses. I don't know those stories, but they definitely happen. Other than that, I don't remember anything else other than those those things happening. Which is enough that I'm okay with that. So let me know if you guys have any paranormal experiences to share. And that question was from Hugh. So this chicken sandwich, it was pretty good. I won't complain. I don't like that bacon, so I had to exit real quick. Would I get it again? No, because usually when I go to McDonald's, I get a double cheeseburger, a McChicken, or a small, like, six or ten piece chicken nugget. I very rarely order, like, a big sandwich from there. If it was good. I'd rate it about... We got a six and a half or so. That was okay. Small fry. I think small fry in the sandwich costed nine something. So. Now let me know how y'all have been. I'm going to go back to work. Got about three hours left. Which I don't even care because I'm at home. Soaking up this sunshine. 91 degrees and beautiful. And I'm full. So, I hope y'all are doing a great. Thank you so much for showing me all the love and support. You are very much appreciated. And I will see you in the next video.